Hi, this is Danny Looker. This is Obscene Extreme, Maryland Death Fest Edition, Part 3 or 4. I'm here with my good buddy, Nick Barker. Now, Nick's a busy guy, just like Shane, who I interviewed last time. Nick played here with Bruharia at Maryland Death Fest. He will also be playing Obscene Extreme with Maryland Death Fest. Now, Nick, you have a, um, what is your gangster name? What is your Mexican name in Bruharia? Well, basically, I'm, I'm the son of uh, Shane, which makes me Ongo Jr. I'm both... <laughs> Uh, Bo Jr., this is a scary concept. You know, little Shanes that look like him. A mini me. <laughs> <laughs> and um, in general, is uh, Bruharia looking forward to playing the Obscene Extreme Festival? Do you think it'll be a good time? Because you have been there before with Lockup and you know what it's like. So, what, what are you looking forward to? Uh, oh, just everything about Obscene is, is it's just amazing. It's, it's one of the best f festivals on the whole European circuit. Over the I summer. agree. And, you know, Cherby is the man. And it's just the vibe, the atmosphere, everything, the backstage, on stage, the whole, just the whole setup is like, it's like, why can't more festivals be like that in Europe? You know, it's, it's totally. Because they are run by the Germans. Yeah. This you know. is not possible. Um, no comment. <laughs> so, Preheria being a band that is like basically based on uh, Mexican violence, and just like do you want to talk about that now quick question um Bruharia is like a fun band but they're also based on mexican brutality and decapitation and drug lords so um are you proud to be part of this violent um i'm very proud to be a part of it and uh, for me personally what makes it even more special is like from an irony point of view is like you know you got a bunch of white boys from europe you know, working illegally for, you know, some Mexican cartel guys. <laughs> yep, it's kind of like the reverse of like what normally happens. Normally the Mexicans are going somewhere else to work for shit money in the States or something like that. But now you have really white boys coming down and um, playing with the Mexicans for no money. Or maybe a little money and something else that I can't talk about here. Because this is a straight agent interview. So, moving on to Lockup then. Um, you played with Lockup last year in Obscene Extreme. I was there. And um, just in general, I mean, it uh, might be too close to home because I've played some shows with you guys, but uh, just do you know what's going on with Lockup in the near future? Uh, well, at some point we're going to start uh, attempting to write a new album. Um, we're going to go to um, South America in November with you on bass. <laughs> Well, yeah, we did talk about that last night, Shane. Um, you know, the, the 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 new Napalm album has just dropped, so like Shane is totally like committed and. I may be there in Napalm, that's for sure. <laughs> well, right, so we got two bass players. <laughs> and that that would be actually the more perfect scenario, really. It's two bass players, and then it's double the horn attack. Well, it's up to you. You tell me, I'll do it. Well, I can yeah, that, that's the, the, right now. You know, like the only thing we've really got is um, Hellfest, uh, Brutal Assault, um, and Tuska in Finland over the summer, and then uh, we, we're going to do like a ten to twelve day uh, South American tour. In Sometime November. in November, yeah. yeah. So one more thing, we have the. Uh, this is a little flyer for what's coming up is it this a year. I've or seen or a it. It's a sticker, but I was trying to be vague and it's a reference. Um, There's always a great lineup. Yep. So, uh, are you looking forward to seeing Discharge, for instance? And, uh, what do you think about this lineup? Uh, yeah. Discharge is going to be cool. They got the dude from um, the Veruca singing for them now. Cari no cow. Yeah, Carizian. There are bros anyway. Like from way back, and uh, so. And, and they spawned the, the name of Lockup. Yes. This is also true. Um, the name of the band Lockup apparently came from watching the drummer of Christian play and yeah. just get really stiff. Could you uh, give me some background on that? Yeah, the, basically the name was inspired by um, watching uh, Max from Carizian. I just fucking do the brakes, dun 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 dun, and then unleashing the hounds. You know, a fucking doom on the the blast, and 
he's blessed us so sick and you know he just to do it like that for that like period of time over that many like bars of music you know like you just the arms the muscles they cramp up and they lock up and that's where it came from yep it's almost uh, not good for your health to play this fast oh well, lock up's not good for my health anyway because I have to deal with Shane Embry all the time well, Okay, this has been Danny Lilker for Obscene Extreme Television, Maryland Death Fest Edition, and we'll see you fuckers in Trotnov real soon. Fuck off! Obscene Extreme. Fucking buy or die. <coughs>